glory to Vishnu, Shiva, and Arishu, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, the Indian Campaign. So guys, as you know, an important event happened last turn. First off, the Chinese reconquered Gunzai. That's not good at all for me, because now that means I have to deal with the Chinese fascist government. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't know when, but question mark. Um, I also have to deal with... Uh, what I was really going to go for was not the fact that China became fascist. It was the fact that Russia is now Russia again. Like, literally, I thought we only had about maybe one year of peace before these guys became... Like, I don't know. How many years do we have with these guys being Russia? Five, maybe? I mean, the Soviet Union, five? Wow. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> that 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 would be the short answer what I was gonna say. That was pretty amazing. So, anyways, um, Germany's also not doing the best right now. They're having major difficulties of their own. Yeah. Um, over here, the British are doing their best to reconquer the land, but the as you can see, guys, the Americans are rapidly moving in. I mean, the Americans have the biggest army by far. And it's all just stationed right here. And no matter what the British could do, they could never, ever, ever fight that. Never. It's almost, I think it's almost not impossible to do a American invasion. But anyways, yeah, now I'm scared of China because they might want their land back. And I would not be willing to give it back. No way. <laughs> I gained this through colonial conquest. I'm not ungaining this through colonial conquest. Okay, anyways, um... Now that there are no British people around, I'm going to go send this army down here. And we're going to... Actually, I should send it right there, because I want to make sure that we destroy all these guys. Battle of Trent, Battle of this. It's not really a battle. Okay. Now that we got this done with, go down here, go destroy this army. Yeah, I think I'll just do this for, like, every single type. So now I'm going to go move you guys right here, move you guys right here. That way, it'll just destroy the rest of these guys, and then we can just deal with this all in a very nice, friendly manner. Okay. And I'm doubting that one ship will be able to fight me. I'm seriously doubting it. And the Philippines in the whore is probably something cool. Does that mean they're actually their own independent nation? That they are their own independent nation? I wish I could restore order, but it'd be kind of a stupid cause of spell because I still haven't gotten Bashir conquered. And I basically have all of them underneath my control. Oh, wait, no, I don't. What? Why do I not have Bashir underneath my control? And why are these guys... I... I don't understand this world anymore. Okay, you guys, go conquer Bashir. Yeah, I, I don't know why that's not conquered already. But, go conquer Bashir. Okay. Um, basically, my army's done in Europe. We're just finishing up some minor sieges. Gonna finish up this battle right here, which took a lot of lives of my men. But, it should be obvious by now. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm basically the top dog in Europe, so I'm not even really gonna care. In fact, I might even... Wait, how much do you like us now, Russia? Do Are we friends? No, you guys still hate us. You're still Bolshevik. You're still communist. You're just Russian communist. So basically how you guys are right now in today's world history. Uh, yeah. If you guys really think the communists have ended, you guys are sorely wrong. Shouldn't, I probably should not do political things when I'm playing a video game, but I, I think that's kind of the general point, is that we do, I don't know, when you're playing a strategic game, you kind of have to do your own political standpoint, because you kind of, I don't know, everyone subconsciously plays how they would like the world to be in their minds. So, for me, so yeah, I, I don't know, it's just, this is what I see, I mean, people do some, usually play for also like, reasons of just, you know, uh, you know, just trying to get the best stats and all, but sometimes people just play for, like, like me, how they would like the world to be, um, and that is a good reflexive personality thing, oh, damn, <laughs> okay, just, yeah, kill everyone, make sure that we can, so dang it, I don't want them to, actually, that's better, yeah, let him escape, that way we can just, you know, go right here, then go right there, okay, now, let him escape so that we can go, go kill him right here, okay, and then right here, get, troops right there and we should be able to trap them there we go that should be the last Austrian army 
And now we basically got all of their land underneath our control. But yeah, anyways, I'm not, yeah, I really do think that when you play, okay, let's see, Bashir, you should, I should be able to annex you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So if I can annex people when they're free, that's good. That's a really good sign. And then, I think that's Rebels. Yeah, that's Rebels. All right. I'm going to retake these guys too, because you know what? I can. So let's restore order these guys too, King, I don't really care. Go over here and go take this land. So yeah, all my men are basically down in Austria, and we are going to be just kind of wrapping up things over here, maybe conquering some more land. Please kill these. I think after this, I'm going to go deal with these five infantry, because these African forces have been here since the very beginning, and they've annoyed me profoundly like profoundly annoyed me gosh and then let's do this let's do this come on finish truly is everyone truly is okay now that you are conquered you are now going to become mine yep <laughs> okay yeah so now these guys are now mine and as you can see we're tightening up our borders there's still this one but this is the one we're mainly fighting for, and this is the reason why I can't let this war go. I mean, a lot of you guys will probably be like, James, you should probably let this war go, you're winning, and blah, 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 blah. No, I have to, we have to win that last, that last, um, vassal. That is the only reason why we declared war on the British in the first place, and also the game Sumatra, I guess. It is a good side goal, but seriously. We really gain this for our own personal benefits, and I wouldn't mind copping out right now, but... I doubt the British are in any mood to... Wait, is these two regions? No, they aren't. Good. I doubt the British are in any mood to do any of that. So, I'm not even going to suggest it. Next, I'm also going to move all you guys down to here. I'm also going to move... Okay, let's get all you guys, then get all you guys. Okay, move down here. Yeah, we're just going to move down and just conquer, reconquer all of our islands. Because that's, that's what we have the resources to do right now. And after we're done with that... Now here comes the really risky part that could potentially kill me. I'm going to move all of my army. Oh, and they, they even took the time to even conquer this back. in Japan, you guys are awesome. Now that you guys are actually attacking in foreign seas, you guys are really awesome. I mean, you guys have gone all the way across the world. You guys are doing some conquest over here. I mean, America's a little bit more awesome because they're just like destroying everything. Ah, dang it, it can't get through here. I almost want to declare war so that we can do stuff, but yeah, look at that. America's just destroying everything down here. It's awesome. <laughs> it's actually kind of awesome that they are doing that. I thought they could get some more soldiers, like, over here. You know, like, over there. Oh, they did get... Oh, yeah, that's Japan. Japan got soldiers over there. And Grand Colombia and Colombia and Ecuador. And I... This is, this is just a mess down here. This is kind of okay. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, we do have this conquest over here, the British are losing, they almost conceded defeat, I think we've almost basically defeated them, would you guys be able to give me what I want, and I don't mean by giving this all to America, they will accept this offer, yes, proceed. You finally we did we finally end it? Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Yes! 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 yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah! <laughs> we even yes! Oh man! We even freed Scotland. Hanjabad is now free. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. We freed our vassals. We gained our last little territory over here. Let's disband our men. Oh my goodness. That was the best. Oh my goodness. Send these guys down here. We're going to do that. Oh my goodness, yeah, we just subjugated the biggest nation in the world right now. Okay, let's see, how many loans do we have to pay? About one million. About one million loans, that's not too bad. 
<laughs> Considering how much we're making right now, that's not too bad. But we just subjugated the biggest nation to our whim. And let's see, we have just become the third biggest power in the world. Um, we completely destroyed the UK's might. I mean, what? Um, we have Scotland now as one of our vassals. The UK in shambles. It must be in shambles. Uh, Hyperbad, um, I could wait until it actually joins my sphere of influence. Or I could remove from my sphere. You know, I'm just gonna do this because you know what? I've I've had I've had about enough of this and so yeah, a situation that we're gonna deal with is hyper bad is we're just going to instantly conquer them, because that's gonna be quicker. We all know it's just gonna be quicker. I don't care if I gain one infamy for it because I could just I could release other little tiny states that we don't really care about. Oh my goodness, look at that money. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next thing to do is let's see, how many troops do we still have here? A ton. Um, and that's not a metric unit. A metric unit is a ton. Let's see, will you guys give me military access? No, oh, this country's... Yeah. So let's see, get their military access. And then you guys should give me military access, right? Yeah. Okay. And since I don't think you're in the sphere of Persia anymore, you guys can be my friend now. Since we're now going to be friends, you guys are going to be my friend. Anyways, yeah, guys. Look at that. I'm also going to stop putting influential points inside YouTube. Anyways, yeah. We just got one of the biggest countries, or biggest countries, Britain, to just bow to our whim. That is, oh my goodness, that was well deserved right there. That officially made, that made us the powers, everyone. And now we can bring all of our real troops home to a triumphant victory. I mean, there must be parades of glory, champagne going everywhere and yes I did do I know it's pronounced champagne but I'm honoring Futurama there by saying Chef Hagen but yeah I mean we did it we honestly did it the great war the war to end wars what happened to Germany it became a North Germanic Federation oh no way they never actually became Germany in this let's play what happened to Belgium looks slightly odd I don't know why but yeah, oh, Poland formed. Wow, Poland formed, everyone. Policy still stands, I guess. Anyways, yeah, uh, we did it. You know, th this is a celebration moment, guys. This is seriously a celebration moment. Give us a slow clap. We fought a war that we honestly did not have. Mm, I would say when we came into it, we were not exactly hoping we would, you know, win. But we did. We won in the end. We as the people won. Okay, I'm just gonna go to about 50% taxes. I think that's as much as I can support. So right now I'm just gonna be I just wanna be growing a little bit. Cause that was insane. But yeah, now that we have no more taxes, okay. Persia, yeah, Persia's gonna be easy to get back into our sphere because they like us and we're really good friends. But yeah, this is a celebration guys. We did it. We made it to the very very, we sh yes, we shall attend. We need to get our relationships up with all the people we have instantly conquered. Um, Germany is rapidly changing pace. Um, Indians, fascists, whatever. Oh, wait a minute. That was, oh no, the communists. Oh shoot, the communists. Why do the communists always form when I am not in a really good strong suit? Oh my goodness, I have 10 tanks right here. Let's just go destroy everything. Um, yeah, it's gonna probably take me a little bit to gain back my, my country back underneath my control. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm definitely thinking it's probably gonna take me a little bit to get my country back underneath my control. And this is just awesome right here. We got the best rubber deposit in the entire game. Some oil too. Two oil deposits and the best, well, I guess the best rubber was in Cambodia. And in my own land, really? Whew, I didn't even know that. But... You know, we still got the oil, which I think was a little bit more vastly important. I mean, we got more oil reserves than just the ones we already did have. Yeah. I'm kind of a, a kind of a meanie in that point. Um, we can get an alliance with France, which... we want an alliance with France? You know what? Why not? The French have always been allies to me in the past. We have been bros. Why not? Uh, and since the Germanic Federation seems to not be able to deal with its own stuff, I don't think they're going to be able to attack for a very long time. And French could obviously, obviously help me out in a lot of different situations. Anyways, 
yeah. Uh, next thing to do is we open all my factories that somehow closed down. Um, gosh. Oh my goodness. Right now, we could just... Oh yeah, because the economy crashed, that's why. I was wondering why there weren't many workers, but I was like, the economy crashed, that's why. <laughs> and then, all these kind of soldiers are moving in right now. Holy shoot, I have like 255 the brigades just right there. Are those all my... Are those all my troops traveling from here to there? Huh? Yeah, you guys still go down. I guess it is? I thought they were all grouping up somewhere else. Anyways, I guess we're all gonna teleport you guys. Oh, maybe they teleported. That could be it. Okay, well, anyways, you guys start cleaning up all the rebel problems. Yeah, let's let's start let's start getting control over this. There we go. Yeah, let's start getting control over this. Cause I do want to make sure that our land will be still very profitable in the future. So please start getting control of this and keep dividing yourselves that way we can, you know, uh be able to tell you guys a difference. <laughs> I guess in the short term, is that so we can help divide and start organizing our army. This is like this is like the quickest way to organize an army, guys, if you want to know. Just like see which troops are still are still kicking it and then just like do that. But before the Javanese I, what are you guys doing? You guys aren't gonna win. I do have enough soldiers to fight all of you guys off. Even without so even without uh the best of kin, I still have pretty much bigger armies than you. I mean look at this. I mean I mean, look at all these rebellions. Oh no, these guys are going to be spawning the Indian Red Guards. Well, even my vassal's fighting them off for me, so, you know, if my vassal fights them off, that basically means you guys are not going to be able to win. That island is really covered with a lot of rebels, though, so I may have to deal with that. Um, and, oh, this is an actual proper army? Okay, then let's go spawn it and go use it to go take down some of these troops over here. Actually, you guys can just stay right here. And yeah, I do want to end this, but yeah, um, we have won. We have won the great great war I mean every time I play this game there's always a great war in this in the campaign at some point there is that great war that you see and it's just like yep that was the great war this was the turning point in history and this was the turning point in history this is the this is the day that Europeans realize that we are not just a great power of other great powers but we are the great power we are the one that everyone comes we are the one that knocks everyone that's who we are. That's how I can best sum it up. We are the one that knocks. And... Tch, oh my goodness. It feels great. It feels honestly great to be this. To be this, guys. And then we still got rebels spawning over here, which I'm hoping that will eventually spawn in more people. I will conquer you eventually. I'm just gonna have to deal with a lot of this before I do. Um... Yeah, you guys are gonna have to deal with a lot of rebels. There are a ton of rebels over there. Um, I am bringing more troops over, but yeah, these guys should be able to help the situation or the rebel situation over there. Cause this army is pretty. I'm pretty sure this army is pretty elite. And all these rebels are gonna start dying more quickly. Let's see. Oh yeah, it has at least one tank, so it should be no. Whoops. Don't do that. Uh, didn't mean to do that. You guys get off of land. You guys go down there. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I finally got working. Yeah, you guys should be able to kill all the rebels pretty dang handily. Pretty dang handily. I mean, it's not too hard. And then here's the different troops. Some more troops that just, like, arrived. I'm going to have them go hunt down more rebels. We're just killing off everything. In fact, while we're here, let's just let's just do the war at the same time. Because I want to I wanna restore order. Let's finish this. We started this a long time ago, back in 1836. Let's finish this. I want to finish this. These guys, these guys right here. These guys were the hardest to ever get. I mean, let's be honest here. They did not. Okay, I'm going to have you guys not do that. These guys were like the hardest. They did not want to convert to my culture at all. They wanted to remain fiercely independent, which I admire. But when, I, when there's a greater Indian union that, union that calls for you, you must answer. So let's go conquer the rest of this. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. This has been the late this has been the fruits of our labor, guys. It, this has been a day one thing. This has been day one stuff. We finally got around to it. We finally got around to it. 
uh, and it feels nice. And does that mean you guys are free? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're just greatest feeling in the world right now, guys. Greatest feeling in the world. We'll end. Oh my goodness. We'll be able to subjugate two new people. Two new regions that have never been underneath our control before. Finally. It, it's, it's like, it's like, I bet India's just like, we're leaving, it's fine, like, finally, the age of British imperialism is ended, and, you know, all these ex-British places are now underneath our control. Yes! Oh my goodness, and then all my men are like, let's move you guys down here. Okay, have you guys conquer all this. Almost there. Almost there. You guys ready to... Yep. I knew you guys would. Because everyone does. And... Guys... <laughs> oh gosh. This is India, everyone. This is India. We are... By any stretch of imagination, united. And that is China. Oh my goodness, Russia switched its flag to modern day Russia. Are they Bolshevik? No, they're the bourgeois. Okay, but they are getting demolished by the, uh... Who's, who's attacking them? I think it's the Chinese. Liberation of Sun Zini? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. China's trying to be a jerk and... Oh, I see. Anyway, so yeah, guys. We did it. You know, at this point, you guys have seen me cheer, you guys have seen me do that, but I think in this case, in this sort of celebration, I think I'm just going to give a, we did it. And with that, I want to end the episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We will be approach next episode, guys, we will be approaching a new dawn. I hope you guys are prepared for it. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.